Hey, it's Mario here and in this video we're going to talk about building better habits and what inspired me to make this video is that I've been getting a lot of questions on how to incorporate these tiny healthy habits into your lifestyle. Things like drinking a glass of water after you wake up in the morning, things like adding meditation to your routine, things like adding reading or going to bed earlier. I mean all of these are great things that will enhance your life but they seem to be very difficult to stick with and there's many different habit models if we look at basically what the literature has to say. I mean, there's the model from Dan Party, there's the model from BJ Farr from Stanford, and one of my favorite models actually is from Charles Dewey from the book The Power of Habit, which is a book that I would highly recommend you to check out, one of my favorite books of all time, and I'll link that in the description below. Basically, his model, his model is very simple, and all these models come down and boil down to the same thing. Basically, you have a trigger, you have the action, you have the behavior, and you have the reward. So as you get into this loop and the repetition keeps coming and coming, basically this becomes a habit. So you have that trigger and let's give an example here of let's say using Facebook. So you have the notification pop up, you have that little red icon, that's your trigger, you have the click on it, you see what's happening, that's your action, your behavior, and then you have a reward because you get a little bit of that spike of dopamine, maybe something great happened, or in general, I mean, it more comes down to, okay, you're not missing out, you actually see what's going on. So that's your reward in this scenario. So what most people overlook when it comes to building new habits, is that the trigger part of it, right? So that is what most people overlook because we all know which ha habits we wanna build, but we don't really put them in place at the right time when it comes to the right triggers as well. So how do you basically uh, separate the habit to make sure that, that it's exactly at the right time the trigger so you can execute the habit and that is what we're going to talk a little about in this video and what I suggest when it comes to building new habits is to actually have a list of triggers that happen throughout your day. Things that would happen every single day without fail. Things like you're going to go to work for example, you have a job, you know, you're going to enter the car or you're going to exit the car. Things like the sun will go up. There's things like let's say you're going to go to bed or things like you're going to brush your teeth in the morning, you're going to take a shower, maybe you're going to exercise, maybe exercise is already your habit and you want to build on that. So you want to create a list, a huge list of triggers that will happen every single day. Things that happen without fail. Someone will text you, someone will call you, you're going to open up your laptop, things like that and that will be your list of triggers. And now when you're looking at making a new habit, you want to make sure that you pick a hot trigger versus a cold trigger because what is a cold trigger, what is a hot trigger? Let's take an example of that Facebook notification. If that Facebook notification is like James Clear likes to say that if, if it was on a billboard while you were driving to work and rushing to work and if it said there, hey, you might have been tagged in a photo by a friend, probably wouldn't check your Facebook there because you're in traffic, you might get into a car accident, right? It's probably not the smartest idea. So that's called the cold trigger, right? Because you can't act on it immediately. But what is a hot trigger is that let's say you get that notification while you're browsing Facebook, while you're on the website or while you're on your computer, so you get an email and that is a hot trigger because you can act on it immediately. And as BJ Fogg from Stanford says, all habits really are is putting that hot trigger in front of a motivated person and repeating that. That's what really comes down to because once you have a hot trigger, you can take action immediately, you're motivated, that reward will kind of um, fuel the habit itself. So that is the way you want to look at it. So when we look at that list of all the things that you basically wrote down, what you are going to, I mean, things that will happen in your day no matter what, then now you just need to match that with the type of habit that you want to build and make sure that that habit happens at the right time. So let's take meditation for example and let's see that in the morning you're going to brush your teeth. You know, that's going to happen every single day. So why not just say, hey, when I brush my teeth, after brushing my teeth, I'm going to meditate for one minute, right? So very, very simple. So you have a basically a trigger, which is a hot trigger, as soon as you finish brushing your teeth, you do have that one minute for meditation, right? And that will happen because you, for number one, bundle it with something that is already happening, so it's gonna remind you. But number two, it's just one minute. You know, it's a small habit that you, you of course, wanna start small, and it is at the right time of the day as well because you're gonna notice the benefits. Or like, let's say drinking a glass of water, which is, you can say, after waking up in the morning, I'm gonna drink that glass of water. And that is a very um, actionable thing you can do, which I see a lot of guys failing at this is that they pick habits and they don't really structure when they're going to do the habits so there's no time and place to execute and then the trigger itself even if you get a reminder to let's say drink a glass of water while you're in your car driving to work or let's say you get a 
reminder to meditate while you're in the gym, you know, you're not going to do it right then and there, even though you get that reminder. So you want to basically make sure to match that reminder, that trigger to be at the exact time in the place where you can execute the new habit and that will make the habit more sustainable. So quick video on how to make and build better habits. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below if you read that book, The Power of Habit, and what you think about it, or if you're going to read it. I would love to hear your opinions on it. It's one of my favorite books of all time, as I said. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you find it helpful. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, support the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.